let's talk just like one minute uh, the difference. There's really two basic kinds of surveys that someone can have. There's a spot survey and oh, a stake survey. You're going to kill me. Okay, I, so I, a, spot, I, a spot is not a survey. It is a surveyor's real property report. Well, and the big okay, difference is... go with that. Yeah, okay. Big difference is it's against the law to actually call it a survey. Did you know that? Okay, so now, now you're smarter. Some, Mike, now we got some good radio going on now. Cause now <laughs> There's I, a little just, bit of arguing going on here. I just realized here. I've been uh, breaking the law for five. So a spot real report, a real... Surveyor's real property report. Real property and report. And that's kind of that deal that you're doing with the... She schooled me, Mike. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> that's that kind of an estimate. It gives yeah, you an guy, idea. You know, two purposes. Make sure the house is built on the lot. And yes, we've done one of those and proved that the house was built on the wrong lot. Right, row. And it was 40 years old, so it wasn't like it was brand new construction Crazy. you know the other thing is to make sure that you don't have any easements running through the middle of your house right because that's a real bummer yeah because they can tear your house down if they have to if they had to absolutely it's or kind of extreme but... or even worse they can make you pay to have the line rerun and the point is that if you want to just kind of know like in general where your boundaries are right and you want to kind of make sure that your house is in the middle of your lot and you know just a general, a guy comes out, kind of gives it the old eyeball, and that is called a spot. Or a surveyor's real property report, yes. But a survey is where he comes out with the machine. Absolutely. And with- he's got the guy with the eyeball looking through the machine. That is looking for specifics. Tell- Absolutely. So that's a boundary survey. It's much more labor in- intensive. It takes us probably about three to four times the amount of time to do that report versus the surveyor's real property report. Mm-hmm. And with the boundary survey, we are actually going to mark and locate all of those property corners so you can see exactly what you do and don't own. Right. We do not do that with the surveyor's real property report. And you're looking not just for uh, your property line and that your stuff is on your line, but the opposite happens to your neighbor. You know, maybe he built his, expanded his driveway under your property line. Absolutely. So the boundary survey, um, it's like doing a giant puzzle. So mm-hmm. you have to know where all of the pieces of the puzzle go to know where that middle piece fits. Right. Our property is the middle piece. We actually survey all the lots around us to make sure mathematically everything is where it's supposed to be. And we do address things like, Fences, retaining walls, driveways, anything um, that's close to the property lines. Yeah, and uh, and we see encroachments and you know issues all the time. I, I would say you know, nine times out of ten that they are resolved by people being reasonable. Absolutely, and just saying, you know what? Here's the thing: you can use my six inches of property for your fence, but if your fence gets wrecked by a hurricane, when you rebuild <laughs> it, put it back on your yard. 